looking at the area to see how it's moving and how it's going. I'm just going to make this flow a bit better. See how this looks. It might look a bit too sharp at the back. It should be all right. If I wanted to really be picky, I could. Oops. I told you I'm clumsy. Just create a new edge there. Pull that back a tiny little bit. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to leave it. Get rid of it. And just carry on going down. Now, I'm going to use this to join up here. Pull this down. Should be able to just pull this down and then. checking something. Yeah, it's totally flat so it's alright. In fact I think this whole area is totally flat but I'm gonna be adding a smooth group around it so I don't want to be having flat areas like I usually do. Right, that's alright. I mean it's a bit messy but I'll let you fiddle with it. Right, I'm just gonna do exactly what I did with the trigger area on the back of here. In fact. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna start to create this area here. I'm just gonna cut it up, first of all. start moving everything around. And at the moment I could do with probably adding some more vertices in here, so um you know what I could do with this area being flat. Right. Um, to give me time to think, I could actually. I'm going to make this area totally flat. Just going to get this value here, just compare it to another. I'm just going to bring these down. There we go. Now I can simply just cut up these just to add more roundness into them just into the whole area in general. That's not that good. Just gonna add some interior as well. This is a totally flat surface, remember? I'm not actually too sure if I should be doing this like this, but I suppose I'll find out very harshly and very soon. Because I'm having doubts already. <laughs> In fact, because if I've got that there, then I don't need this as well. In fact, I will. Because I'm going to do something later on. In fact, no, I don't. Because I'm not going to bother. Oh, crap. 
Um, sorry about this. This area is totally flat now. I don't think I should have made it like that. Oh, it's alright. Well, you're kind of getting the technique that I'm using, so hopefully it shouldn't be that bad. Right, just like this. I'm actually gonna grab this whole area here. In fact, I could probably select this one as well. Hmm, what can I do there? Come back to my image. Yay, I get it. And I'll select this one as well. And I'm just going to extrude that out. I'm only going to do it by small amount. It's a bit too big, in fact. And I'm just going to come back to these and weld quite a lot of them back on. Just grab these, push them back. Grab that one, push that one onto there. Grab that one. Now I've kind of got the edge. Come back to my image reference. Yeah, it carries on going down. Now I'm just gonna. Oops, I'll select the wrong one. To quickly select all the outer side. Pull it back a bit. Come back to this few seconds, see what I'm doing properly. It's gonna need to flow outwards, so I'll just put that like that. Geometry's looking a bit of a mess, but I'm kinda getting the feel to it. Come back to them, select them all, just bring it down a bit because it's looking a bit too high, a bit too sharp. That's a bit better. Probably could do is a bit of a bump map to be honest, but I'm just really showing you how to model at the moment, I'm not showing you how to skin. Alright, that's looking alright. Got a nice edge onto it. Right now, I'm gonna just go to the back part. I'm just going to select all of these because I'm going to do what exactly what I did with the trigger area. If you can remember, in fact, it's a bit messed up because there's loads of different angles, so I'm just going to pull it out. Right, I've just noticed that these are connected together, so I'll just weld them too. I can tell because basically this one and this one came apart when I extruded them. Let's go transparent. So I can just get the edge. I'm just going to end that bluntly for the moment. It might actually change, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look at my reference picture in a second just to make sure I'm doing it right. looking alright. I mean, this one's a bit... Uh, yeah, that'll do. I'm just going to come out of here and I'm going to do exactly what I did before. I'm just going to find out what this value is. Paste it on. I'm just going to pull it back and put that to zero. The back's quite sharp, but in fact, I don't really like the way the back's going to be looking at the moment.